Hi, I'm David. I'm an Englishman in the Balkans. I'm normally sat here with Tamara, but she's still got uh, huge breathing problems uh, and is away again at the doctor's today. So fingers crossed, toes crossed, everything crossed that she feels better in the near future. If you're watching this on YouTube at the moment, then please do like, share and subscribe. Press the bell so that you never miss uh, a post. Last week I posted a video on Instagram asking for your thoughts and comments about the content that I create and what you would like to see more of. And thank you very much to everybody that's replied, not only on Instagram, but on YouTube and as well on Facebook, where this content is on those three places, Facebook, YouTube uh, and Instagram. And overwhelmingly, it's you'd like to see more videos about following me around in my daily life uh, and what it's like for me. So, as you know, over the past year, I've been deliberating about doing this and I've had a few full starts, but I've really been inspired by the comments and the suggestions. Um, and so thank you very much indeed. I'll try and reply to everybody um, on the platforms that you um, commented on. Is that a fair one? There's a lot happening in the village here at the moment. Tam's father is out pruning his uh, plum trees and I think he's actually planted uh, a brand new pear tree, Karamut. I love Karamut Rakia, so in a couple of years we're going to have lots of that to drink uh, throughout the season. So hopefully there's a vlog and a blog post about that soon. But today I thought we'd start with talking about me um, and why I'm here. For those that don't know, I came in 1993 uh, when the war was on actually. It was quite a disturbing uh, few weeks as it was uh, back then and I never thought I would ever come back to Bosnia and Herzegovina after that short visit back in 1993 it was. I did come back though in 1998 uh, with NATO, with their stabilisation force, uh, to Banja Luka and I ran a project, I started a project up, it was a radio station actually, uh, in this part of uh, the country and I stayed with it until 2005. I actually met Tam in 2002 um, but and we got together, moved in together, and in 2005 the project finished and then I went off to work uh, away from uh, Bosnia-Herzegovina, although I used to come back as often as I could uh, on holiday, come back to my base as it were, but for a number of years I worked in Canada, then I worked in Kosovo, uh, and then I finished off um, in Afghanistan. Um, and then I came back in 2011, yeah, and since then I've been here permanently. Um, I do have residency here so don't worry about that, I'm not doing anything um, illegal. But one thing uh, that struck me <clears throat> over time is that I don't really want to go and live back in the UK anymore. It would be fun to go uh, and spend some more time in Canada but t let me tell you the winters out there are ferociously cold and one of the things that I can't really handle is the cold. And we're talking about minus 35 and, and lower. But yeah, but being here, it's been sometimes rather confusing um, for me uh, in my mind because I don't have one of these. This is a, a passport from Bosnia and Herzegovina. And I only have one of these. Well, at the moment, this is a, a British passport. Uh, I might be getting my Irish, my Irish citizenship in the next 12 months. And I was reading a blog post from a blogger, an American lady that lives in Iceland now, and she said about how difficult she felt fitting in, because she wasn't a tourist and she wasn't um, a citizen. And she felt that she landed somewhere in between those two things, right? Because she, although she was an American living in Iceland, she had Icelandic roots, but she was a bit unsure about was she this or was she that. And it got me thinking, this is the problem. Well, it's not a problem. This is what I am. I'm an in-betweener. I'm not a tourist here anymore and I'm not a citizen either. So I am in this rather unique position sitting um, between both. So having now grasped that, this in-betweener concept, I thought that that could be how I could focus the content that I make together with Tamara here uh, on the web, whether it be on Instagram TV, whether it's on our Facebook page, which is An Englishman in the Balkans, or the blog. And by the way, please do check the blog out. 
brand new design and I hope you like it and I think it's going to be much more intuitive for you to to use and I post uh, all sorts of articles there and I'm going to start just doing what I want. I'm going to be authentic. I don't, I'm not a, um, a, a great influencer. Um, yes, I see a lot of content being created and I think, wow, I wish I could do that. For example, my editing, I hope is getting better. You'll tell me, won't you? So, yes, I'm an in-betweener. There's a blog post going up tomorrow. Um, so please do check that out about being an in-betweener. I'll include this uh, vlog as well. So yeah, during this journey that we're going to go on together when I'm showing you things like the pruning that's going on outside uh, today to cooking and living and everyday life here in the village, visiting Banya Luka, going on holidays as we do every year to Montenegro. Um, yes, I will include some of my trips um, where I go to Germany on occasions. Soon at the start of March, I'll be going off for three days to Skopje and Macedonia. So I'll take my camera and I'll take you along. But it will be from the perspective of um, an in-betweener. Not a travel journalist, because I'm certainly not that. Um, I'm not a journalist in any way. But, yeah, the life of an in-betweener, which you might find interesting, uh, whether you're living in Denmark. I know there's people following us in Denmark, from Australia or wherever. And recently, lots and lots of people um, following. I don't know how often they watch or read the content, but people that were born in Bosnia-Herzegovina and now live outside, whether that's in Australia or uh, in Germany, Austria, Canada, United States or wherever. So that's the first bit of a rambly blog about uh, the vision now and where we go from here. And it will be from the view, from the eyes, from the mind, if you like, of an in-betweener, which is me, because I'm not either this and I don't really feel like this anymore. I still like being British. But, um, yeah, I sometimes I feel guilty um, that I should be more patriotic. Um, yeah, I've done that bit. I think I was a soldier for 30 years in the British Army, so I think I've done my bit for Queen and Country. And I love being here. Don't ask me what it is about it. Yes, love Tamara to, to bits. We're, we're married and we have a great time. So obviously Tam features a lot of it, a, a lot in it. But I do love the country very much. I think the na nature is brilliant. Where else can you go? We have eight microclimates, um, different religions, different scripts, Latinic and Cyrillic, um, different traditions, different culture. It's like every day is an adventure. And I do hope that this year, starting now, uh, February 2020, that I can bring you along. Um, and I hope I get stuck into it. Okay, that's it for now. Best get this edited and published and then think about the videos for the future. Thank you very much indeed for joining me.